Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So this video is a little off topic, but I figured you might want to see the cows. I haven't had them on video in a little bit and uh, they're growing quite well. Um, I say cows, I should say steers. They're technically steers. But anyways, him right there, he gets a little mischievous once in a while. And for some reason, he likes to pull on the garden hoses. As you can see, I've got two of these automatic waters plumbed to my uh, two uh, tanks here. And uh, the nice thing is, is with these two automatic waters, they automatically keep the tanks filled with water. It keeps them topped off. And it keeps, you know, uh, cold water coming into them as they drink. So they work out really nice and they're a very cheap solution. Well, since I had two tanks, I thought, well, I'll just tie them both together with a, just a garden hose, a T in the line, and, and run a, a hose over here to the frost-free hydrant. Well, the problem is, is, as ornery as he is, he likes to grab the hoses for some reason, and he pulls on them. Well, he pulled on this one to the point where he broke the end off. So now, what I gotta do is I went to TSC, and I uh, picked up just a regular end to put back on the hose. So I'm just gonna simply cut this old one off here, just like so. And I got one of these just quick 5 8 hose repair ends to put on here. I know this video is off topic, but I know some of you said that you like to watch me fix just about anything. Uh, well, this is a good video to show the cows off a little bit, or steers off a little bit, I should say. But uh, it's been fun raising these guys. They uh, don't tell them this, but they're going to go to the butcher here in uh, December. And uh, they're looking really good. That ear corn just definitely is the way to go. I like feeding them the ear corn and they like eating it. I mean, look how happy they are. So we'll get this in changed out. And this actually, Dad came in the shop the other night. He's like, hey, your hose is leaking pretty bad. So I walked out here and I kept messing with it. I thought he had just loosened it up, but he had pulled it to the point that he cracked that fitting. I kept messing with it. Next thing I know, I was getting covered and covered in water and the whole hose blew off and yeah so I thought well gonna have to get a new end for it which I thought I had some of these on hand but apparently somebody used them I don't know where they ended up going Should have probably heated that up a little bit. Might have made life a little easier. It's going now. Far enough on. Put our aluminum pieces back around here. Get our screws. Then we can hook our water back up and fill our tanks back up. I've got goldfish in my tanks, kind of, kind of helps keep the algae down a little bit in them, and it tickles the steers' noses when they drink. No, I don't think the fish come where, nowhere near them when they're drinking. And there hadn't been any fish disappear, so I don't think they've been eating the goldfish. So a little update on my oat hay. I know some of you asked me about it. The uh, stuff that I planted here where we cleared the trees, it got really dry. We had a um, couple dry weeks there for a while and it got really dry. And We got a little bit of rain yesterday, a little bit of rain today, but I don't know if it's enough to turn it around. But I did get, I bought some hay from my uncle, so I've got plenty of hay. Now the other oat hay that I planted, that was in some lower ground and that, that's looking fairly good. So I think there'll be something there. But this stuff on that high dry cleared ground, I don't know. We'll see. 
on the far end where it dips down that's that looks pretty good but this on the higher end all right got our end back on our hose put it back here on the frost free hydrant I'll get these guys some water Yeah, see, he's pulled on that hose there too, and he's got it leaking. So I'll have to tighten that up. Here they are. They were real small when I got them. The goats like the camera, cows, not so much. Steers. But they filled out really nice. Okay. Let them, uh, let them tanks fill up. I'm going to go ahead and throw these guys some feed. It's about that time of day. I usually feed them around 5 o'clock every day. 5, 5.30 whenever I get back. Or my mom feeds them for me when I don't get back till late. So, okay, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one.